Hello everybody, this is Gary. Today is Tuesday, June 11, 2019, and it's Rochester, New York. Um, this is an update on my coping with schizophrenia vlog entry. And because it's June, I wanted to talk about antipsychotic medications and the hot weather. Um, last year, I ended up going to the emergency room twice for dehydration and um, heat exhaustion, which could have easily gone into heat stroke. What caused that is two mistakes. Number one, I went out in hot weather, like 90 degrees or higher, without any water carrying with me. Um, and the other thing is my medication. Certain drugs like Haldol, Thorazine, and other antipsychotics. I'm not a doctor, so I don't know specifically necessarily which antipsychotics are dangerous in the heat. I do know Thorazine is, and I know Haldol is, and I'm also on Seroquel. So what happened last year was I would ride my bike like long distances from my house to like maybe the supermarket you know, or to the bank, whatever. And um, I would get dehydrated and I would sweat so much that I would have to call an ambulance from wherever I was, whether it's the store or the bank, because I didn't have enough um, hydration and energy to get back home by riding my bike in 90 degree temperatures. Um, and the ambulance had to pick me up twice and both times I was diagnosed as heat exhaustion, which could have been more serious and gone into heat stroke and been life threatening. Um, so my point is, um, antipsychotic medications don't necessarily go very well with hot weather. The other problem, particularly with Thorazine, is that um, your skin doesn't protect you from the sun as much with um, the melanin that would come for, um, you know, getting a tan when you're in the hot sun. The skin doesn't do that when you're on Thorazine. And so it's very, very easily to get a sunburn. So if you're down like Haldol or Thorazine or Seroquel, um, wear sunscreen. And that means your whole body, not just the parts that are shown, like your arms and your face, but also under as well. And if you're wearing shorts, the same thing. Um, um, suntan lotion with actual sun protectorant in it um, would be good for um, preventing sunburn because sunburn can be life-threatening. Um, I had a problem with Thorazine when I was like uh, 19. I had was walking around without a shirt. I was wearing pants and sneakers, but walking around, around without a shirt, and I got a really severe sunburn. It was actually a second-degree burn. It wasn't just the first degree burn, but it was actually a second degree burn because I was on Thorazine and I wasn't wearing sunscreen and I spent way too much time in the sun. Um, and again, I almost got very sick from that, could have died. Um, so number one, if you're on antipsychotics or any psychiatric medications, wear sunscreen in the hot weather. Um, use an air conditioner when you're home if you have one. And whenever you go outside, whether you're walking or riding your bike or jogging or whatever, make sure you have water with you, whether it's bottled water or whatever, um, because that's going to help prevent dehydration. It makes absolutely no sense, even though I make this mistake, to go out in 90 degree weather or 70 or even 80 degree weather for that matter without water. Um, and you don't have to necessarily buy expensive water at the store in a bottle. You just bring tap water with you just put it in a bottle and bring it with you um but uh make sure you have lots of water in the hot weather and make sure you wear sunscreen because it can be life-threatening when the sun is too much for you and the heat is too much for you um and save everybody a lot of trouble by not having to go to the hospital or the emergency room for heat exhaustion or even heat stroke and severe sunburns so wear sunscreen and drink lots of water and not coca-cola not seven up not pepsi not ginger ale but water not coffee not milk but water pure water is what you should be drinking when you're out in the hot weather so leave your comments if you want to